Let's do a few subtraction problems. For our first one, number one, we'll take 6,589 minus 243. Now when we subtract by hand, we start in the ones place here on the right. I want to take 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. Then I move to the tens place. 8 minus 4 is 4. Then the one hundreds place. 5 minus 2 is 3. And finally, I have 6,000 minus no one thousands below leaves me with just 6,000 still. So 6,346 is our answer to number one. Now let's take a look at number two. In number two, we want to take 8,000 minus 7,347. If we want to start in the ones place here, we're trying to take zero minus seven. We're trying to take seven ones away from zero. We can't do that. We have to do what's called borrowing here to get started. Borrowing's kind of a funny choice of words because really the process involves an even exchange of values. Now, I want to get started in the ones place. So I move to the left to look to borrow, but I don't have any tens. I move again. I don't have any one hundreds. I have to move all the way to the thousands place to borrow. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my thousands and exchange it for ten one hundreds. It's kind of like exchanging a thousand dollar bill for ten one hundred dollar bills here. I have a stack of ten one hundreds. Because we exchange one of our thousands, we're only left with seven thousands. And the ten one hundreds that we get in exchange, I represent by writing a ten above the zero in the hundreds place. Now, I'm going to take one of those ten one hundreds and I'm going to exchange it for ten tens. I have a stack of ten tens here. Since I'm taking one of my one hundreds away, this becomes nine, nine one hundreds, and my tens now are ten. I have ten tens. Next, I take my stack of ten tens and I'm going to exchange one of those tens for a stack of ten ones here. I have ten ones bundled together. So I take one of my ten tens, I now have nine, and I exchange that one ten for ten tens. This becomes a ten in the ones place. And now I'm ready to carry out the subtraction procedure. Ten ones take away seven ones is three, three ones. Nine take away four in the tens place gives me five. Nine take away three in the hundreds place gives me six. And seven minus seven in the thousands place leaves me with no thousands at all. So my answer is 653. Now let's do problem number three. 94,301 minus 8,547. Again, we want to start in the ones place. We'd like to be able to take one minus seven, but we can't take away seven from one, so we need to borrow. Let's start the borrowing process. We move one place to the left. We don't have any tens to borrow from, so we move another place to the left, to the hundreds place. We're going to borrow one of these hundreds, so we're left with two. And the hundred we, that we borrow, we exchange for ten tens. So we change this zero to a ten, just to the right. Now take one of these ten tens, 
So we end up with 9. And the 110 we exchange for 10 ones. We add it to the one that's already there. So now we have 11 ones. Now we can begin the subtraction process. 11 take away 7 is 4. 9 take away 4 is 5. But 2 take away 5 I can't do. So I need to borrow again here. I move one place to the left. That's the thousands place. And I'm going to take one of these thousands, this becomes three then, and exchange it for ten hundreds. The ten hundreds I add to the two that's already there, so that becomes twelve. Now I have twelve, take away five is seven, and I want to subtract in my thousands place now. But I have three, take away eight, I can't do. So I need to borrow one more time here. I'm going to take one of these 10,000s, so the 9 becomes 8, and the 10,000 that I borrow becomes 10,000s. I add it to the 3 that's already there. That's now 13. 13 take away 8 is 5, and I have 8 10,000s now take away none below, that leaves me with 8 still, and 85,754 is my answer.